Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is going to be five reasons they played themselves. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for the chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, this video is going to be based upon all the reasons of why they played themselves. Now, let me say this, y'all. It's the individuals who come in your life expecting something but never get it. Yes, sir. It's them people who come disguised as a friend, a family member, your favorite co-worker, right? But God end up revealing them. They played themselves. I need y'all to understand something, y'all. No matter what level you are, okay, where you are in life, you will experience this. If not, you already experienced this, and that's why you watch this video. Now, I'm going to get into each and every one of these reasons. But before we do so, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. And not only that, y'all, drop in the comments, family, and say you played yourself. All right? Now, the first reason of why they played themselves is going to be the chosen ones. They gave up on you. Yes, sir. Let me say it once again, y'all. They gave up on you. All right? Now, here's the thing, y'all. Maybe you was chasing your dream, okay? And it wasn't happening fast enough, right? Maybe you was, you know, trying to achieve something. You know, you putting all your time into that. You putting all your energy into it. And some people just don't have the time. Like, we see it in movies all the time, y'all, where somebody is chasing a dream, working hard on their dream, going in on their purpose. They finally found their God-given mission. And the person that they're in a relationship with or that friend, right, that family member, they just give up on them. Why is that? Because they feel like they're never going to achieve their dreams, right? They feel like they're never going to get to the place that God said that you was going to get to, right? And so, listen, what are you saying right now, Reno? Listen, what I need y'all to realize is they gave up on you, but that's a clear indication that they played themselves, right? How, see, the thing is, y'all, do you think that Jay-Z was always Jay-Z? Do you think that Beyonce was always Beyonce, right? Like, even if they got early starts in their lives, in their careers, fine, I get it. But at some point, they still was not who they were. Now, again, you talking about the Michael Jackson, I understand that because he was a kid since he was, he was famous since he was a kid. But that's not everybody in life, right? And this message is not about fame. This is about people giving up on you, all right, until you actually get to the destination that God has for you. Because there's going to be a whole bunch of people, y'all, who give up on you. There's going to be a whole bunch of people, y'all, who stop believing in you, stop believing in your dreams. Just stop believing, period. Stop having faith, right? But does that mean that you're supposed to stop? No. They play it themselves, all right? They play themselves. Maybe, you know, you, you stop making the amount of money that you used to make. Maybe you used to make six figures, right? You used to make 60, 70,000, 80,000 a year. And that went down, okay? A lot of people would change on you for no reason. I know y'all probably heard this quote before, but you got to imagine life like a road, okay? An interstate. And people would switch lanes on you with no signal, all right? People would just switch up on you. They won't give you no warning sign. They won't tell you why they did it. They don't tell you what's wrong. They won't tell you how you can fix your mistakes if you make them any. Some people just give up on you. But see, I love that though. I love it because it's nothing like becoming the person that God has set out for you to be and somebody that gave up on you thinking that, oh, this is it. Yeah. It, it's nothing else that flatters me, y'all, that... You gave up on me. <laughs> you thought it was over. You, you didn't think that I was going to become anything more. You didn't think that I was going to achieve my dreams. You didn't think that I was going to get my money back right. You didn't think that I was going to get my living situation back right. You ain't think that. You just thought that this is it. So you gave up on me, right? Sometimes people give up on you because it's another person that they're interested in. Or they're, it's something else that they believe in a little bit more than yours right? A little bit more than who you are or, or what you have set out to do, right? Your plans. They believe in this a little bit more. It seems a little bit more promising, right? 
That sound familiar to somebody? So right here, y'all, in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, it says, Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have, for he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, sir. Let me say it once again, y'all. Louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, y'all, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, it says, Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That scripture is basically speaking on y'all. For those who left you, for those who don't believe in you, for those who gave up on you, be content with where you are. Stop longing and lusting for the people that left you and the things that you don't have. He says, I will never forsake you and I will never leave you. Yes, sir. Somebody drop in the comments to say, God will leave me. Listen, y'all, he will never forsake you and he will never leave you. See, they gave up on you, but really they played themselves. They played themselves. Why? Because you still have the most important being all right, that it is that ever existed. You still have the most important being. Who is that? That's God. I need y'all to understand something. They played they self and whatever they did, that's on them. That don't got nothing to do with you. I tell people all the time, y'all, you cannot worry about things that you can't control. You can't worry about the things that you can't control. The moment you start worrying about a car that you don't have any control over, you're going to crash your own car. I'm going to say that one more again. All right, I'm going to say it one more time now. Listen, if you are focusing on a car that you don't have control over, you're going to crash your own car. Why? Because you have control over your steering wheel. You don't have control over that steering wheel. So if, if I'm driving in my car on the interstate and I'm looking at somebody else's car, well, it don't matter how well I'm steering. If I keep looking over here at some point, I'm going to crash into somebody else. Why is that? Because you're worrying about things that you can't control. So you can't worry about those who gave up on you. You can't worry about those who stopped supporting you. And you can't worry about those who don't have faith in you or in what you're doing. All right? We just got to move on. Okay? So drop in the comments if that makes sense, y'all. We're going to get to the next one. Number two. It's going to be this, family. They try to get over or take advantage of you. Yes, sir. Let me say it once again, y'all. Louder. For the chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they try to get over or take advantage of you. All right? Now, I'm sure everybody know what that means. I don't got to get into detail about it. You know what it means when a person try to get over on you. Yeah, they give you a little bit and try to take back a lot. You know, they try to rob the bank. Who is the bank? You. They try to take more than what has been given. Understand something, y'all. They are not for you. And I'm sure you understand this. But they try to get over and take advantage of you. And really, they're playing themselves. You know, y'all, when I see people or when I encounter people who try to take advantage of me, I sit back and laugh because I pity the fool, right? I, I sit back and laugh. Like, I know you see me see you, but I guess you think I'm green or something like that. So I'm going to just let you do you, right? But really, I'm going to let you play yourself because for some reason, you don't think or know that I'm highly intelligent enough to spot your BS, okay? A lot of people, they're going to try you. They're going to, you know, insult your intelligence, insult you, you know, insult your discernment, right? Because I guess they just think you're a green bean dude or a green bean woman. Understand something, y'all. Those who try to get over on you and take advantage of you, they're really getting over on themselves, take advantage of themselves, right? Going under. Why? Because when you have a higher power that's over you, when you have someone that, you know, you serve, the higher power, the most high, when you have that, he's going to always reveal them. He's going to always show you the play before they try to play you. Therefore, they're going to play themselves, right? Listen, y'all, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 6, it speaks on the y'all. It says that no one should take advantage of and defraud his brother. In this matter, because the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also forewarn you and testify, right? Let me say it once again, y'all, that no one should take advantage of and defraud his brother. In this matter, because the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also forewarn 
you and testify. Reno, what are you saying right now? Listen, this is the scripture. This ain't got nothing to do with Reno. It's telling you, don't take advantage of your brother, okay? Why, listen, y'all, we are all children of God, okay? Up under his eyes. Understand what I'm saying. So I ain't just talking about your literal brother. I'm talking about your brother, your sister. Period. We was all made by the creator, all right? So what are you saying right now, Reno? It's telling you, you should not take advantage or defraud your brother, okay? And this matter because the Lord is the avenger. You will get God. What are you saying right now, Reno? They play themselves, all right? A lot of people don't understand that. Somebody drop in the comments and say you played yourself. A lot of people don't understand it. They can't fathom that, all right? I know a lot of people, you know, going around saying karma ain't real, but karma is real. You reap what you sow. Whether we see it or whether we see it or not, all right? Karma is not for us to see. Avenge is the Lord's. It's not ours. So why do we want to go out here and see, oh, I want to see Tony get in a car accident. I want to see uh, Tony drop dead and die from cancer. Why do you Why do you even want to say that? Why do you even want to see that, right? I, I mean, just thinking about it, it's hard for my mind to even process. I don't even want to see it. I understand, I get it. But understand something, y'all. Karma is real, and we don't have to see it. These days, it's possible for you to see it. Everything is fast. Everything is microwavable, right? But guess what? If you don't see it, if it don't happen, so what? Understand that avenge is the Lord's, okay? But I say all that to say this. They play they self, all right? They touched the wrong one, y'all. They touched the wrong one. They play they self, okay? Now, moving on to the next one, family. Number three, they gave you away. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for the chosen ones. In the back, they gave you away. Ah, you know, that hurts the worst because it's nothing like giving away a diamond that's worth $5 million, but you didn't know it was worth $5 million. You know, y'all, when I had moved out my apartment, it was my first apartment that I had moved in with my then girlfriend, who later became my wife. She's my ex-wife. Now, whole other story, y'all, but when I moved out that apartment, we had this TV. It was a flat screen TV and it just wasn't working. So we thought that the TV was messed up. We was like, man, we're going to throw it away. So I had one of my old buddies, you know, one of my old partners. And he was like, bro, y'all ain't throwing the TV away, bro. It works. I'm like, bro, it don't work. You tripping. It don't work. Bro, the TV worked. Bro, okay, cool. You want it? I bet. Matter of fact, we threw the TV in the trash. That man went to the trash can and got the TV. I seen him when I came back from college. He had that same TV and the TV was working. I'm like, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. The TV worked? He said, yeah, bro, I told you the TV worked. I don't know what was going on at y'all crib, but I seen that the TV was working. I wanted the TV back. He wouldn't give it back to me. The point is, y'all, is this right here. Sometimes we give things away that we don't see the value in. Mmm. Sometimes we give things away that we don't see the value in. And that can be a hard lesson, okay? Um, again, they don't realize your value, gave you away. Or they didn't realize your value, gave you away. Uh, they got used to your presence. That's another one, y'all. And whether you do this with your loved one, your family, whoever, we have all done this. If I got, I got to play God's advocate, y'all. We have all done this to some degree, right, to where we got used to a person. We got used to them giving us hugs, used to them giving us kisses, used to them, you know, saying thank you, right? It's some rude people out here, y'all. They won't even tell you thank you, all right? You know, we got used to their presence. It's used to the things that they do, not realizing that everybody don't do that, right? Everybody don't do it. And so on the flip side, y'all, this is you. You know, they got used to your presence and they just gave you away, Right? And we do that oftentimes as human beings, okay? I'm just speaking in human being terms. We do that oftentimes, and that's what they did to you. So I just need y'all to understand something. They gave you away not realizing that they played they suck because they gave away a diamond that was worth $5 million. Mm. Somebody drop in the comments and say I'm priceless. <laughs> we are priceless chosen ones. Understand that, all right? Now, moving on to the next one, y'all. Number four, it's going to be this family. They thought it was over for you. Yes, sir. 
Let me say it louder for the chosen ones in the back. They thought it was over for you. Once again, y'all, they forgot the fact. They didn't understand this. They couldn't fathom it, all right? It's just getting started for you. You can be done lost your car, your crib, got evicted, repossessed, right? Breakup, divorce, all that. It's just the beginning. Why? Because God has you right where he wants you. Listen, y'all, I say this all the time, but I'm going to keep saying it, keep saying it, and keep saying it. Tough times don't last, but tough people do, all right? Tough times don't last, but tough people do. What are you saying right now, Reno? They thought it was over for you, so they had to move on. Oh, yeah, they had to move on. They had to stop supporting you. They had to get out your crib, get out your circle, get, you know, leave the friendship, leave the family. They just had to leave because they thought it was over for you, and they wanted to go to somebody else who had everything popping, everything going on. They established everything is good. You know, everything is great when in actuality is not, right? And, you know, that's going to be my, my last point that I'm going to speak on, but I'm going to say this, though. How many of y'all seen the Jawana Man movie? I know y'all have. It's a classic. I know y'all seen it, all right? So, uh, Jawana Man, you know, um, my man who played in life, y'all know who I'm talking about, Jawana Man. Uh, he went on national television, literally showed his butt, pulled his pants down, you know, and that's what got him suspended. Well, when he seen this on TV that they were suspending him, okay, everybody who was around him, he had a big party going on, by the way, big party going on. Everybody who was around him, they seen that he got suspended, which means the Migas wasn't coming in no more. What did they do? What did they do? They walked away. Oh, oh, you ain't making no millions no more? Oh, all right, bet. You know, the girl who was with, oh, yeah, she loved too. She loved too. Why? Because it was only the money that was keeping her there. Mm. What is it that you have that's keeping people around you? It's not always money. Sometimes it's your compassion. Sometimes it's your heart. What is it that you have that keeps people around you? Okay? Understand that, y'all. That's a question that you can answer in the uh, comments or you can just answer to yourself. But it's a real thing. All right? But understand this right here, y'all. They thought it was over. Um, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 36. Listen to what it says right here, y'all. For you have need of endurance. So that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. Yes, sir. Let me say it once again, louder, for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, y'all, it says, for you have need of endurance so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. Somebody drop in the comments and say will of God. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say will of God. Understand this right here, y'all. It's telling you that. Although everybody think that it's over for you, although, you know, those who was close to you, they thought it was over for you, although they felt that way or thought like that, God knows that this is just the beginning. So he says, all you got to do is persevere through this and you're going to receive everything I told you that you was going to get. You will receive the promise. You will see the success. You will see the prosperity. You will see it. But... I'm going to need you to be consistent, all right, and persevere. Understand what I'm saying, y'all? You have to persevere. And that's the only way it's never going to be over, as long as you continue to persevere, okay? Now, moving on to the next one, family. Number five, which is going to be the last one. My next talking point, they thought the grass was greener on the other side. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for the chosen ones in the back. They thought that the grass was greener on the other side. Listen, y'all, we deal with this all the time. Even us, okay, at some point, we thought that the grass was greener. You ever seen, you know, on TV, you know, or even in real life, you've been at a house, you see how green the grass is, okay? But then you look over there at Miss Peggy's house. You look over there, you know, at, at, at Miss Dorothy's house, right? Mr. David's house. And it seemed like everybody grass is greener. Only until you step on a property to see that, man, it ain't no better than mine. It just looked like the grass is greener because we are on my land, because we are on my property. But the moment I get over there, it looked just like mine, almost identical. You ever been there, y'all? Well, that's how it is in life. 
you know, sometimes it seems like, you know, this person got it going on. It seemed like this person is doing it big. You know, it seemed like this person has the great woman, the great wife, the great man, the great husband. But you don't know what they go through. You don't know how similar, you know, their situation is to you. It just seems like that on the outside. But who knows what it is on the inside? I'm not saying I wish bad on people. Sometimes people can present their situation in a way that it seems as if it's perfect. And ain't nobody perfect. Me, you, anybody watching this video, him, her, I don't care who it is, y'all. Jay-Z, Beyonce, ain't nobody perfect. Some people are more blessed than others. Some people are more fortunate than others. But ain't nobody more perfect than the next one. Why do you say that, Reno? Well, again, it's impossible for somebody else's grass to be greener. Even if they are a good person, the grass is not greener. Why? They have flaws too. He got a flaw. She got a flaw. Flaws hide from no man. And flaws is alleviated from no woman. What are you saying when I went on? The grass is never greener. It's only grass. <laughs> I just made it up, by the way. But it makes sense, though. Okay? It makes sense. Now, with that being said, y'all, I need y'all to understand something. They played themselves thinking that the grass was greener on the other side, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do a recap, y'all, and then we're gonna go ahead and conclude this video. So five reasons they played themselves. Number one, they gave up on you. Number two, they tried to get over or take advantage of you. Number three, they gave you away. Number four, they thought it was over for you. And number five, they thought the grass was greener on the other side. All right, so with that being said, y'all, we're going to go ahead and conclude this video, but y'all already know how we do. Y'all can check out any one of the links in my description. Check out any one of my books. That's Eight Steps to Self-Publishing, a successful book, Rich Mentality, Traumatized by Love, as well as Family Are Equal. Also, be sure to check out any one of my memberships. That's my YouTube membership, as well as my Patreon. And don't forget, family, be sure to enroll into my social influence course where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self-published author. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality